Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we're gonna build a motorized camera slider. If you don't know what a camera slider is, you can check out this one. Uh, this is one I bought on Amazon a while back. It's a, it's a pretty cheap one, but uh, it works all right. Um, your camera goes here and it just slides back and forth. Uh, I shot a few of the scenes in the Delta printer build. Um, using that, you can see them here. So we wanna build a motorized one, which will give us even smoother shots and it's gonna let us do some uh, time-lapse video with it which you guys know how much I love time-lapse videos, so that should be pretty cool. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, check out what I've got planned. So this is probably what it's gonna look like. It'll have a speed control knob, a direction switch, and a switch for selecting between normal mode and time-lapse. It will ride along two rails, in this case, some PVC pipe. It'll have some 3D printed rollers here to keep it locked in position between the rails. These rollers are spring-loaded to take up any variation and distance between the two pieces of pipe. I'm going with a stepper motor to give me a very fine control over the speed. If this were going to be used for just video, a DC motor would probably work just fine. But doing a time lapse requires the motor to move very slowly, so a stepper motor is the best choice for this. So that's pretty much it. I'll be driving the motor with an Arduino Tinker, which is like a tiny little cheap 16 megahertz computer, and a small stepper driver. And the whole thing will be powered off a standard Canon 5D battery. Let's build this thing and see how it works. <laughs> 